Okay, welcome back everybody. It's been a minute, but we're going to jump into our continued Nuzlocke of Leaf Green here. Um, this is just the general layout for the team. We're going to try to catch Spinach up. Uh, we just watched uh, us crush Sabrina, so we're just looking to get to Cinnabar Island and move on. Uh, I thought about throwing a rules roulette on, um, but then promptly I was busy. Um, so I'm going to skip this episode on a rules roulette, but um, trust me, definitely coming up real soon here. We're going to get that uh, situated, so everyone can enjoy a new rules roulette. It also gives everyone a chance to definitely send me a message if they have a cool idea about something you want to see me try to do for an episode or two during the rules roulette. Otherwise, we're just uh, cruising along here in our Nuzlocke. Um, I was watching like a cool video recently of a Nuzlocke of a remake of this game called Radical Red. And I'm really tempted to try to figure out how to get that loaded and uh, give it a try. I've watched some really respectable Nuzlocke uh, aficionados, if you will, attempt that Nuzlocke and uh, have some real struggles. So I'm really curious. Um, if I, you know, if I could do it, how far I could make it, um, you know, what would go on, so. But, uh, before I start thinking about, you know, doing another video recorded Nuzlocke, I, uh, would like to get a few places. You know, mainly get this one done with and in the books, and then, and then move forward. Been really excited about how the team has been working out uh, with the latest iteration on it. Uh, I think overall we're doing really well. And, uh, you know, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that we can get through the, uh, the playthrough without uh, many deaths at all. Um, I find it interesting too that we're getting through this without um, having a solid water type on the team, which is a real surprise. Not that it's impossible, but typically, especially in the original generation, you, you, you're typically going to have a water type. Spinach crushing it. Doing a great job. But yeah, um, I never heard any negative reviews on if people wanted to watch me, you know, do a whole episode just trying to swim to Cinnabar Island battling stuff. Um, so, since no one complained, you get, the, you get this episode. Um, I think it's fine. Obviously, if I ever do something off camera, like when I've grinded before, I, I, I keep it recorded. So if we have a death or anything terrible or amazing that happens, you know, I can always cut that into the, the film, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's, it's good to, to show a good amount of this, when it's like a bunch of trainer battles, I think that's a positive thing to do, um, we have a double battle coming up, I'm gonna throw a pair in front with spinach, and we're just gonna keep going. Battle these little children. Cedra. Cedra's cool. Okay, I might have to worry about like an ice beam from something, but otherwise, I think I, I think we're gonna just you know click and kill. Honestly. Yeah, there we go.
So back to that radical red real quick. So I've watched like some of the automated roles in it and they have stuff like you can't use any items in battle and you, you know, I mean, I already play all my Nuzlocke's on set and a couple of the other base roles like that anyway, but like they're completely no items. Um, it is technically a version of Nuzlocke I have not done. I always have had one or three as my like item limit. Um, I, I'm definitely not one of those people that'll buy 30 super potions and then, you know, run something out of a PP, um, with, you know, potions banning, so, don't, don't ever worry about that team, but, uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it's really intriguing, and the fact that you can, you can play the game in this general layout, and, you know, but you have access to eight generations of Pokemon, um, I just, I think that's really awesome. Spinner just out of Giga Drains now, I just realized. I mean, I was kind of paying attention before, but now I'm really paying attention. Alright, so we got Tentacle here. This thing can be a beast. I don't think Bubble Beam does a lot. 12 damage, yeah, okay. I think we'll be okay. Just gonna take a few hits because I'm running out of uh, Pokemon power with some of my moves. Oh, that was a crit. That's not good. Cool. Alright, cool. Took down the tentacle. Oh, so close to the next level. Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah, I got one super potion. I'll just throw that on you. Should be fine. Yeah, it's plenty of HP. I've, I've been at minimum seven above some of these trainers, so I, I might even be done with the route. Nope, there's at least one more trainer. Okay. And remember, I did get my encounter in the previous episode. It was at the top of the route. Um, it was Tangela, who we need spaghetti. It was really awesome. Okay, I am going to switch out, um, if I Giga Drain I wouldn't switch out, but I don't have any Giga Drains left right now, so I didn't want to take a Ice Spear and get hit like five times and not, you know, basically toss my spinach, so. Kind of, oops, sorry. Uh, kind of bummed that spinach didn't get my level on the switch out, but that's okay. I'm sorry again. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always bumping this. It just happens. There we go. Oh, still another trainer. Okay. I definitely, th I don't know. I thought there'd be one less. Okay, there we go. An encounter, a tentacle. Doesn't matter. Can't do anything. I wonder if it gives me enough experience to get to 43. Probably not. It's probably going to be just short. Nope, we got it. Awesome. I should have looked at what I needed because that, that could have been cool to like figure that out. Cool. So spinach kind of caught back up. Uh, I'm going to finish getting pear kind of thrown in here and then we can worry about banana. Uh, I'm not going to really use popcorn or my other buddy. Um, I'm about to go an area that has like a ton of poison and fire types. So my Pokemon that are ground types, uh, they'll train great in there. So I'm not, not going to worry about it. I guess my biggest concern with not having a water type on the team at all is I don't have great access to ice moves. Um, I think Nuva King can have ice beam, but if I end up going against Lance, who at least has a couple of Dragonites, 
uh, slash Dragonairs. Um, he's gonna be he's gonna be a beast to try and take on with that team. Nope, still have trainers. Okay, this is just an episode that never ends. I tried using a Starmie once on a, a Nuzlocke, and I was doing pretty good with them. Um, that was a Nuzlocke where I was naming it after my like, Pokemon League uh, friends. And, you know, I was doing good. I was, I was doing all right. And uh, I, forget what, I forget what knocked it out, but it was like a really sad moment. Um, it was during my Ultra Moon, like my personal Nuzlocke of that. And uh, that Nuzlocke was so rough. Um, it was the second ever Nuzlocke I attempted. And... Uh, I think I had like 37 deaths or something. Like when I got through the actual Elite Four part, I had no idea how I did it. Uh, like I kept, I was able to keep my Incineroar for the vast majority of the playthrough. But who was it? Um, but yeah, it was like, it was, but other than Incineroar, every island I had like eight, nine deaths. It was, it was crazy. Um, a couple of them were my own fault because I was getting used to certain like things to not do in a nose clock. Um, but it was yeah, it was it was rough. Um, both from an enjoyable kind of point of view, but also kind of kind of sucked. Um, at one point, I thought I had lost it. I thought I was like I got through a hard fight. I had like two things left alive, and I like stepped away and trained and and came back. Um, maybe it was in like the eighth or foundation part and. Uh, I was like, well, you know, I did the best I can. Hopefully I can get through this. And I ended up, you know, pushing through pretty well. But, uh, yeah, this is rough. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and use our psychic move. Actually, that probably was the time to call mine, just to guarantee all of this. But again, ten levels above. I'm not, I'm not stressing. I will have to look up what our level limit is, because off the top of my head, I'm forgetting what it is. I want to say it was 48 or 49. Uh, if you guys remember and want to send me a message, you know, just just toss it. Toss it on the thing. I didn't realize pair was 43 and I got them to 44. Oh. Um, then, you know what? I'm going to leave Banana in front and... Okay, we still have another match. I would keep Spinach training, but again, as I mentioned, I'm out of Pokemon Power Points, so... Um... Yeah. Not, a, not a good option, man. Ooh, start. So from I haven't tried my new move for Banana here, which is Shadow Ball, so... Go, let's go, let's go. I mean, that did well. Hard to tell because I'm 10 levels ahead, but it did well. I wonder if, uh, I was going to say, if this person has a star made, that would be great because then I can actually see what it might do or not do. So. Dang it. If I'd hit Brick Break, I would have broken that. Psychic. Let's do another Psychic. Second. Yes. Okay. Second is the. Yep, and now. There you are. You're right. Cinder Island. So, you know what? I'm just going to save it up and I'm going to call that quits. So, thanks everybody for sticking around for this episode, and I'll try to get the next one to you pretty quick. Um as we get into Cinnabar Island. So yeah, thanks a lot, and see ya.